Time for Pets on Set. Nancy Orr with the Canyon County Animal Shelter is joining us this morning. You said your drive-in wasn't as bad. It wasn't as that bad. It was pretty nice on hey. the freeway there. So, so there's some good news for people <laughs> who have a commute to make this morning. And you brought in a, a good buddy who... Uh, I think maybe I scared him a little bit when I showed up. I don't know if it's just, you know, my face or, uh, you know, dark suit or what. But uh, Kato, Kato's a pretty nice kid, though, here. Kato, yeah. Kato's a year and a half Border Collie mix. He came into the shelter. He was returned to the shelter after being adopted, only because he's kind of a possessive dog. He's very oh, okay. possessive of his people. So he got possessive of the teenager in the household and didn't like mom too much. So right now he's in foster home. Um, so he's working through all that. He, his biggest issue right now is people in uniform. Probably thought you were in uniform. Uh, it's not in, a uniform. In all it's dark. just what I wear to work. <laughs> um, he's crate trained, house trained. He's dog friendly. Oh, oh, hello. He, he, hello. Once he's yeah, comfortable, he's <laughs> once he's comfortable with somebody, you're not going to get possessive um, of me, are you? Because no, when you leave, <laughs> that'll be bad news. <laughs> Um, but he's, he needs a job. He needs something to do. So obedience, he's already been through a clicker class. So he's done great with that. Um, he's agility, uh, loves playing with toys. So he, and he'd probably be best in a household with children over the age of 12 so they can continue with his, his social skills and make sure he doesn't get too possessive of the small children in the house. Um, but he's a fun dog. And he's not huge, but he's, he's a good sized dog. Is, is he a pretty strong guy too? I mean, you talk about having older kids. He's, he seems like he might he's, have he a lot of speed to, and strength. He does, and, and he likes to jump up on you. Okay. Um, we're working on that, but he's, <laughs> he jumps up for his toys. So if you think he, he thinks you have a toy, he'll jump up on you. You're just saying hello, huh? Yeah. Oh, and some dogs are amazing. They can, you know, you try and hide a toy on the top shelf or something, and they'll see it from a mile away and just sit there and bark until you get it off. So, yes. so Kato, year and a half old, and the Canyon County Animal Shelter is open seven days a week. Seven Has days been a week, for yep. a while now, so you can always stop by there or call the number there on your screen. And any sorts of uh, uh, promotions or, or deals that are going on right now? Not at shelter? the moment. We do have new dogs that come out and new cats that come out every day. So if you don't see what you're looking for today, make sure you keep checking our website. Um, so dogs come in all the time. If you're missing a dog, make sure you come into the shelter and check. Uh, the gals at the front desk don't always get to see what comes in. So mm -hmm. it's best, I know that it's hard to drive in there with the snow, but it's best to go in, take a look, because we do get a lot of dogs in there. And make sure you have tags on your dog and yeah. microchips. And that, then you Find your dog and find get your him dog. Returned Definitely. To you at home. And, and, and I like what you said. If you don't find the dog that's just right for your family, make sure you stop in at you know several more times because oh, yeah. the chances are that you will. You will. You know, if you don't the first time. Yep. Because there's gonna be different dogs in there. So Definitely. Kato is gonna be the dog for somebody. It's just up to you to give him a call or stop on by and hey, see if you're the family friend. So thanks so much, Nancy, thanks for, for bringing him in. Us. We appreciate it.